Hello and welcome to this review for the LEGO 31135 Vintage Bike 3-in-1. Now I see that online there aren't many reviews for the 3-in-1 uh, kits, 3-in-1 sets, and yet they're the ones that seem to be bought the most by parents due to their price points. So just to fill in a void, since I did manage to get this one uh, slightly early, uh, I wanted to just do a video. And we'll see how it works. If it works well, I'll do more. Uh, I do have kids, and I just I would like to have videos of these myself online to see uh, if ever these are are good to buy. So I started with this one, vintage bike, because I do have some more to say about it. Uh, before we'll just get into the build. Yes, while there are uh, three different uh, builds you can do, the main one is this vintage motorcycle, and I don't feel based online that we actually get uh, a good view. At this because I think there are a few flaws to it so I'll just give you a better idea to it so uh, the light does go up and down uh, the steering works here uh, and there is you'll see on the side here we have a kickstand that goes like this like that it can position itself this way and it does roll fine I don't know if it's gonna be great if I do this but yeah see it's okay the, the, the both wheels Spin freely, let's see, there you go. So it's a very good functioning bike. My issue is uh, I find the front to be a bit of an eyesore here. This to me goes up a bit too high. Uh, in terms of a vintage bike, while I do like here, like the gas tank that we have and a bit at the back, and uh, I do like, uh, you know, the, the asymmetric feel to it with one side that has this very long uh, pipe. The front doesn't look very vintage bike to me in the front. And I'll compare it to what we have, you know, the, what they show us on the cover. I mean, while it's there, we see it. It's, hopefully it focuses up. There you go. It doesn't, I, I don't get the sense of, I mean, I guess it doesn't look similar. However, building it. I didn't get the sense that the front looked like this. It looks it looks much taller, especially because I, I mean I moved this up, but if I do it like this, it just doesn't look great. So if I have the same position as this and I turn it like that, to me just this doesn't look great. That's all. That's all I meant to say. I'm going on about it a bit too long. So about this bike, uh, yes, I commented on the asymmetric stuff here. What that's fun about these three-in-one creators is that I do like how uh, we see the innovation of the designers. So, for example, here we'll have the uh, re uh, recycled parts use of, there's like a bucket that they use here, right, for the exhaust. I find that very smart. Uh, one I find less smart is the use of a uh, soda bottle, uh, you know, the, the top of a soda bottle for the, the what would we call this, um, with you unscrew to fill in the gas tank. Yeah, this, so yeah, uh, that doesn't work as well. They even give you a bonus piece. You no, know, because these are pieces that are often lost and crucial to the build by kids, so they give you an extra one. Uh, I didn't need an extra one. I don't think it's great. So, anyways, this is the bike. What I do want to comment on is uh, the age range and the price. So, this is labeled as an 8+, plus, and it definitely is 8+. plus. I would not recommend this to uh, anyone younger than that. Even though there's very few pieces, only 128 parts. That's going to come later into what I'm going to say. Only 128 pieces, sorry. Um, this, this is not a easy build for a younger child because of all the Lego uh, Technic elements. So even though this is under the Lego Creator brand and Lego proper, uh, th this is a hybrid. There is a lot, a lot of Technic aspects to it. So this entire front is all Technic here. Uh, you've got Technic for this, and you can see it on the sides, Bo both these are Technic elements. The part that is Lego is, we'll say, the the middle section of the build here, right? So this this core part of the build is Lego, but all the peripherals to it are Technic. And that's not obvious for kids. I do have a seven-year-old and a, uh, a five-year-old, and they would not be able to do this. It, it requires too much minutia, and, uh, and, you know, to fiddle with the orientation as well. It's just, just not easy for young kids. So the 8 plus range is definitely appropriate. Now about the parts, the 128 pieces for this vintage motorcycle 3-in-1 uh, creator kit, in Canada it is $19.99, while in the US it is $14.99. That is an outrageous price for 128 pieces. Um, 
I'm wondering if it's because of the integration of the Technic elements, and of course the wheels are very big parts, so they, I guess they add a bit more to it, but however, I mean, it has, by comparison, there are sets that I'll be reviewing as well, and they're going to be on my channel shortly, where they have 145 pieces and go for uh, 13.99 in Canada and 9.99 the US. So the parts ratio ends up being in Canada just below the 10 cents per part, and the US around 7 cents per part. While this ends up being 15 cents per part in Canada and over 10, like 11 cents in the US. So it just the ratio is just just not there. Okay, I and I I find this quite outrageously expensive. I mean, especially in Canada, twenty dollars for you know this box here. No, it's 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 just not worth it. And it's not like a phenomenal build experience. Most of it is symmetrical with just like the here this being the main difference between the two sides. There's not much to it. It's not a like I said. I I don't find the parts used too impressive either. Uh, there's there's not much going on with this one. I honestly, unless you really like this look, which I I don't know why you would. This is not an impressive looking vintage motorcycle. But if you do like this, by all means go for it. But for kids, there is much better out there at a much more fulfilling price to piece ratio. Just to show you the other parts before we close this out, um, and maybe that's why there's so few of these reviews out there because you know there's a lot to review and. Not much views on it, so the uh, I, I will not build the other ones, uh, at least not for this review. But the other ones are a modern, more modern day motorcycle and a drag strip racer. Let me show you that here. So, here you go there's your modern day motorcycle, and here your drag strip racer. I actually do plan on building this uh, at a later date just for fun. But the other thing that's not great about these three in ones. Uh, the idea of 3 in 1 is that it should be fun to also dismantle it and, you know, build it into different ones, but it being a Technic heavy set, it's it's just not as fun to undo this because the way that Technic is done, it's that, you know, these pieces are meant to be more secured and hard to remove. So it's, uh, like, you see the handlebar here, the handlebars here, I mean, it's just not as simple. So, I don't know, I, that, that, you don't feel like wanting to build the other ones because with Technic, it's not as easy to undo. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on it. If it helps you, let me know. And I'll be reviewing the other LEGO 3-in-1 uh, sets that come out in March. So this one should be available uh, as of today, right? In uh, Walmarts and Targets and wherever you get your LEGOs. And if, uh, yes, and on LEGO.com as well. So there you go. Take care all. Bye.